most popular chat apps by country, WhatsApp, WeChat, Facebook Messenger, according to Statista in 2019. That same, if you think about active users. How to find the best messaging apps? We try with secure messaging apps. Who are you? My name is Mark Williams. I have over 50 years of experience in cybersecurity. Why should I trust you? You shouldn't. Feel free to do your research and let me know if I am wrong. A word on trust? To consider any of the apps secure, you must trust the people behind their creation, maintenance. Each of the apps has one weakness in common. You must trust a third party, them, for it to work. So, which apps should I use and avoid? Please see my ratings page. But, first, we need to check out this website, Welcome Transparency Report Google. It's really easy to do. You need only copy and paste. Save browsing site status. And no unsafe content found. Right now we are able to check it. Secure messaging apps comparison. Like you see, you have a lot of questions and a lot of colors. Google Messages, Apple, Facebook, Signal, Microsoft Skype. Red, something of major concern. Yellow, something of concern. Green, nothing of concern. Blank, I couldn't find any information about it and not applicable. It's really easy to understand. You have question, no or yes. And of course, red, it's no, yes, is green. Overview. Details. Main reasons why the app isn't recommended. For example, Google Messages, Facebook Messenger, Apple iMessage, Microsoft Skype, Telegram, Viber, Facebook, WhatsApp. You have questions and respond. Your reason why you shouldn't use. If you like reading, you can read book about this topic. We want to see change log. And the last information was from 2021. So, which apps should I use? The most green are, according to Mark Williams in 2021, Signal, Wire, Session. In 2023, it's up to you, but ask first. I'm searching for that on the internet five days ago and like you see, 